Hello everyone, this is Bitbyte Art. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm again back with an amazing video. Because today we are going to learn how you can start earning a decent and consistent amount of money from Etsy. And you'll be able to do that in the next 15 days if you follow this video and if you follow the rules. So you must be thinking, what are we going to sell on Etsy? Well, we are going to sell logos on Etsy. Then you must be thinking, well, I don't know how to do graphic designing. I don't know anything at all about it. So I would say, man, don't worry. You will be able to make an amazing logo in as early as next five minutes with zero graphic designing experience. And by listing that on Etsy, you will be able to earn 100% passive income in as early as next 15 days. But you have to follow some rules. What are those rules? Only two pointers. Number one, you have to take action and not be lazy. And number two, you have to be ready to spare at least one to two hours per day. If you are going to do that, and if you are ready to do that, you will be able to earn a decent amount of money from Etsy within the next 15 days. At least the wheel will start rolling and we'll move on from there. I'm trying to make this video part of a continuous series in which we are going to move ahead and uh, learn more and more complex things as we move ahead right now in this video we are going to learn to make some simple signature kind of logos uh, that are very easy to make you can make one logo in less than five minutes and as we progress uh, one more thing that I would like to add here is that these things are easier to make and definitely they are less pricey but as we move ahead in the series we will be uh, we will be able to make more and more complex designs which will be high ticket items and which will be your success in the Etsy sphere. So let's move ahead in the video. So once again, why uh, have I selected this particular type of uh, thing to sell on Etsy? Number one, this is a digital item. Once you list, on, list it on Etsy, uh, the sales will come in and the thing will be delivered in digital form to your buyer you do not have to ship anything physical to your buyers and you do not have to actively be involved so this is going to be 100 percent passive number two this thing is very easy to make there is almost zero learning curve you will be able to make it in next five minutes if you follow the video along all right so these are the reasons and number two this is you know less pricey items and people don't think much about uh, much before they buy it your shop is going to be new if you are new on Etsy and you will not be having many reviews so if somebody comes to your shop finds an item and if somebody likes it they don't have to worry about reviews for your shop because these things are going to be one or two dollars and they'll be able to buy it easily Another reason that I have chosen this product to start your Etsy journey, uh, start your Etsy journey with, is that this thing is in demand. A lot of businesses are looking for such logos. Uh, all right, so I have just searched for a simple term, editable logo templates in te in Etsy, and I have uh, the, the Etsy search results have come up, and I can see this many these many results for this particular search term, and you will see that a lot of uh, sailors are selling such logos these are these are the kind of logos I'm talking about right there is a signature and there is this little title underneath here goes one here goes one this one so you see these are selling for two three somewhere they are selling for as high as five bucks and these are very easy to make I will show you a few shops that are selling it for example this shop the logo creatives this shop is selling these logos and this shop only has 37 logos all right and it has made over 1400 sales another shop is this one this one is selling uh, signature logos and other logos as well which we will learn to make in upcoming videos but right now we will stick to signature logos So, what is our plan of action? The plan of action is that you will be able to make one logo in five minutes, as I already told you. So, what I want from you is that 
spare one to two hours each day and make at least 10 logos you'll be able to make it in less than an hour i mean you'll be able to make 10 logos in less than an hour after one or two days all right so you spend next five days making 10 logos 10 logos each days and come up with 50 logo designs all right and then you take another 10 days to list all those on etsy all right you list all those on etsy and you set up the price and everything and once you list so many logos so many things on etsy you'll start coming up in search results and you'll probably start making sales by the end of 15 days so let's move on to canva.com canva.com is a graphic design uh, software and online graphic designing software that allows you to create amazing graphic with a very easy interface so once you move on to canva.com you have to sign up for an account for this particular purpose you would need a pro account for which you have to pay some bucks every month but don't worry if you do not have uh, a pro account or you cannot pay for one as of now what you can do is you can create a new account and get 30 days free trial all the features of pro account all right so as we already discussed if you do things right if you follow the instructions you will be able to start getting some sales by the end of 15 days and by the end of the month you will be able to pay your uh, monthly canva subscription and you will be able to do a lot more than these simple logos which we are going to learn in this upcoming videos in the series all right so let's start making the logos to do that you have to sign into the canva account and on this home page you have to click on create design then custom size i normally keep the size of my logo to be 3000 by 3000 pixels then i'll click create new design then i then what i will do is i will go to the text section and in text section i will click on add text box a text box has been added i will zoom in you can zoom in from here all right as you can see that the text is so small that you'll have to increase the size by clicking and dragging this little circle all right i'll move it in center i'll increase the size again by holding alt key if you hold alt key the size will increase this way all right now i will change the text written in it i will write somebody else's name like christy wallace just some imaginary name then i'll click outside then click back on the text again i will now click here to choose some beautiful font in the search column i will write calligraphy hit enter it will come up with a lot of uh, calligraphy fonts so i'll choose one randomly like this one no i don't like this one i'll choose another one all right this one looks good i will increase the size good then i will add another text box then i will write the profession over here photography this looks jumbled up i'll reduce the size i'll reduce the size to 100 and then for the for the tagline i would need a decent a decent font i will just choose this one i'll click here oh sorry i will undo it i just made a mistake so what i'll do is i'll again change the size to 100 i'll click here and i'll remove the search term and i'll go to corporate and corporate from corporate i will select a simple font all right i'll move it a little down i will increase the text spacing from here like this this gives a very decent look and i'll click outside i will select them both by dragging and drawing a rectangle then i will position them in center this is already in center i will click and drag it upwards to bring it in the center once it is in the center you will see a horizontal line all right <coughs> So this is how you can make a simple signature logo all right you see this is what they are doing over here right we've already made a 
beautiful logo here so what you can do is you can duplicate this layer select the text change the text color to white and now change the background color to black because we are offering editable logo so we will make each logo in two copies one for lighter background in black and one for darker background in white color so now the logo is made what next now you have to offer this as a download to your customers on Etsy what you want to do next is you want to click on share you have to go to share then click on template link copy this link now this is the link that you have to give to your customers how you can do that you can create a PDF file go to, go to blank document create a blank document and I'm just throwing the link over here but I don't do it like this how I like to do things is this is how I like to make my things I place a logo over here then I write some instructions that I give then I give the link then I in some cases when I make video uh, video tutorial for how to edit the template I also add a link to that video tutorial and then in the end I ask the customers to leave a, a review on my product so this is how you would actually want to make your PDF then save this word document as a PDF I will not go into these details but you have to save it as a PDF and then once you are uploading the product on Etsy, you will be able to upload this PDF. So once the logo is made and you have made a PDF file, what you would want to do is you would want to create display thumbnails that will display on Etsy like this. See, this is a display thumbnail. This is a display thumbnail. So to make a display thumbnail, what you have to do is you have to create another design. Create a design, custom size, 3000 by 2250 click on create design so you would want to download your logo as PNG go here go to downloads make sure PNG is selected make sure transparent background is selected and hit download button <coughs> so now go back to the tab where we were making thumbnail go to the upload section first go to where you have downloaded it right click and it will be downloaded in a zip file if it is more than two pages if it is a single page it will be downloaded as an image so now you have to extract this file to get the logos open the folder select both of these files and then drag and drop them over here Alright, so we are basically going to make two thumbnails for, let's make one right now. I will place both these in front and then I will go to elements and from here I will make a box like this, I will make a square. I will click outside then click back on the back box then I will move it to a side I will while holding the alt key I will increase the height until it reaches the extremities then I will without holding alt I will drag it and bring it till the center yep here we go and then I will change it to black all right now I will send it to back so that my logo has now gone into the back I will send it backwards so that my logo comes in front All right, so now our logos are being displayed nicely. <coughs> what you would want to do is you want to move them a little up because we are going to write something in the bottom. Then again, go to text section, click here, drag and make it big move it down 
and write what you want to write in the thumbnail. Let's see what others are doing. So they are not doing much with the thumbnail. They have just kept it simple. All right, so we will just add a Canva logo over here, showing that, showing them that this logo is basically editable in Canva, and then just write something about it. DIY editable logo. DIY editable. And in the first line, I would like to write signature logo. I will change the font. This font does not look good. I will change it to something like this. I will increase the font spacing. Alright, I will make another square. I will bring it behind this text. I will move it all the way across. Reduce its height <coughs> then I will look for a canva logo while being in the elements tab I'll look for canva logo here it is I click here I will reduce its size and I will bring it here all right so this is good to go with the listing all right so you can make a few more uh, thumbnails for your uh, logo but for starting i think this is fine this is good to go with so now what you would want to do is you will go to share click on download and you can select png as well here for this particular thing for the thumbnails because we do not need transparent background seats so we don't need png so now we'll go to download and then we will click on download. All right. So now we have created a design, a logo. All right. And number two, we have created a PDF download file with the editable template, which the user requires and actually added the logo write their own name in the logo and own profession as a tagline and number three we have made this uh, the simple so so uh, once you're done with this what you would want to do is you would want to go to your canva account and in the listing section you will click on add listing you will upload the thumbnail here if you have created a video for your logo which you uh, which we will see in the upcoming parts of the series right now we are just trying to be simple and trying to upload as many listings as possible in the beginning so that you get more and more exposure on canva here you will write a title you will need to write uh, some title based on some search engine optimization and some you know research and then fill in all the fields make sure you select digital from here and then write complete description about your product make sure to mention here that this is uh, this is going to be an editable canva template which will be opened by the link in the download I'll try to just briefly explain how the user will be able to uh, download it and how the user will be able to edit it what i basically do is i create a video in which I show how they can open the template and how they can uh, edit the template and how they can download the temp download the final design to use with their own branding and then filling in all the details you will set the price here you will set the quantity you can keep as much quantity as you want this does not matter because this is a digital product it will continue to make copies of itself and then once you select digital file from here let me do this now you will be able to upload a file from here so here you will upload that PDF in which we have pasted the link once you've done everything you will just hit publish alright so this is how you can 
uh, create one listing and similarly you will create another 49 listings in the upcoming 15 days as we have already seen remember that you have to take action not be lazy number two you have to spare two hours one to two hours per day and uh, at least up, up to upload at least 50 listings 50 listings you have to do it right and once you do that we will move on to the next video and in the next video we will learn to create more things like complex logos which are going to be uh, higher in prices we are going to learn about uh, branding kits which are going to be high ticket items we are going to learn a lot of different uh, printables and different uh, digital items that you are going to make in the upcoming days so i hope you like the video if this video helps you be sure to like and subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon so that you are notified about any videos that i'm going to make in the near future take care goodbye